Good morning, believers. Good morning, Israel. JD Nija. Sorry about that last video cutting off. Um, my uh, ex girlfriend called. She's in the middle of some heavy growth spurts. And um, I just want to be there for her because I invested a lot of time. And the Lord. And I worked with her for a long time, and so she's uh, moving forward, and she's understanding some of the things I gave her over the 11 years that we were together. And so I, um, I'm still showing her love. That's, that's what we do. We don't give up on people that try. So... Um, Keep trying. Keep trying. Um, does love come natural? Yeah. Love comes natural. Is it always easy? No. It comes natural, but the world fights against it. And the world is a, it's a tough road. Um, so we're in Galatians. Heavenly Father, bless my brothers and sisters who hear this message. Give them understanding, give them wisdom, give them strength to walk in the spirit, not in the flesh. The flesh is a real problem. But through the spirit, we can solve that problem and find the truth. Put the flesh away. Walk in truth and you'll find the spirit. Amen. You're welcome. Um, that felt good. She um, thanked me for um, poor thing. You know, I fall for these women that I fall for the most hurt women. That's what I do. I I don't know if I fall for him or, or if God draws me to him. I'm not, I have a feeling it's God. It's not me. Because if I had any sense, I'd stay away from these. I guess a lot of women are hurt. Anyhow, um, So we're in um, Galatians 5. It says, I have confidence in you through the Lord that you will be none otherwise minded. But he that troubles you shall bear his judgment whosoever he be. So. Can we tell who, who Paul's talking to? He's talking to the Galatians. And what's he? What? What are the Galatians? The Galatians were loving people that were easily misled because they had good heart. So they they thought, well, maybe these Pharisees are right. Maybe these law keepers, maybe they're maybe they're right. Maybe they have something for me. Maybe I should be trying to fight sin and repent every day and, and blah, blah, blah. And Paul's going, no, man, no, no, no. It's obvious. We're, we're, got, we're going through the book. Time after time after time, he's going, you're not a slave to sin. You're not a slave to the law. You're not a slave. You're free. You're free. Come out of the cage. 
the door's open. Come on out. Come on. It's not scary. Just come on. See, people think they're safe in the cage. Well, if, if I do everything right and I hide in the cage, when the rapture comes, then I'll get out of here. No, you got to get out of the cage now. Now, right now. I'm trying to set you people free. Don't be a prisoner of your own morality. Like Matthias, he's all, he's trying to point fingers at me, but I'm still healthy. I'm older than him. I'm in shape. Yeah, I did a lot of alcohol, drugs, womanizing. I did a lot of hard physical shit, falling off skateboards, falling off snow skis, falling off water skis. I lived my life full. And I ate a bunch of good food. And I gluttoned out. And I gluttoned out. But I'm not a fat ass. I didn't, I didn't eat so much that I became a fucking toad. I didn't do so much speed that my teeth fell out. I didn't ruin everything in my life. By, by having to get on dialysis. Because I ate myself to death. And I'm not pointing my finger at him. I'm just saying. He needs to look at his life. He needs to look at what he's saying. He's saying he's King David. He's saying. That he's the boss of all these people. He's a bully. He's bullying all these people. And he thinks. That's what God wants. That's not what God wants. God wants you to be a, a meek. Humble loving person. I have confidence in you through the Lord. What's this, through the Lord mean? Literally, in the Lord. I have confidence you in you, in the Lord. I have confidence that he's in you. That you will be none otherwise minded. But he that troubles you shall bear his judgment, whosoever he be. What's Paul telling the Galatians? These people that are trying to tell you rapture and that they're going to, their glorified body after the eclipse. They're going to be glorified and we're going to be like, ooh, look at their Superman now. That's cuckoo. 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 KD, crazy dude. He calls himself KD, King David. No, KD stands for crazy dude because he's fucking out of his gourd I'm going to laugh so hard at his fucking ass through the spirit means that by the Holy Spirit's help which is obtained by faith believers wait for the hope of righteousness that is live the Christian life awaiting the consummation of their salvation does it say wait for the rapture no you're going to be consumed. Your body's going to be consumed by this fucking satanic place you're in. This prison. But are you going to come out of the prison and get resurrected? Or are you going to stay in that cell and rot in there? Live up. Live up, Rastaman. Being Iman. Higher, man. You're a higher being. You don't bow to fucking bullies and bitches. You don't bow to bullies and bitches. And I, brethren, if I yet preach, I think I already did this yesterday. The works of the flesh. I'm just going to move forward because we don't want to be in Galatians. It's almost over. Yeah. This I say then, walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. 
Why do I fucking bust? Why am I fighting so hard against this? Because that's what the spirit does. I have a strong spirit. The flesh means nothing to me. I don't, I don't want to push people around here. I could give a fuck about this place. This isn't my home. These fucking, this idiot, Matt, King David, he's out of his gourd. Tony Williams, out of his gourd. GMS, black Hebrew Israelites, out of their frigging minds. They've lost track with reality. They've, They've stepped off the foundation of truth. They're wandering around out there in the weeds. It's like, and they're screaming. They're out there in the weeds screaming at us. It's like, I wish these fuckers would shut up, man. They're creepy. You see them popping up in the weeds. It's like, everything's going cool. You're walking your walk, and all of a sudden you hear a bunch of fucking banshees out in the weeds screaming and rustling the bushes and shit. That's who these fuckers are. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of them fucking making me jumpy. And the spirit wars against the flesh and these are contrary the one to the other. Why am I contrary to them? Because that's what the truth is. The truth is these fuckers are not my friends. These fuckers are my enemies and they're going to be my enemies until they fucking come over to my side. I'm not, I'm not budging and they're not budging either. And that's why I just let you know they're out in the weeds. We're on the path. Our feet are firm. We're in reality. They're, you can't tell if they're in the bog. Are they in the water? Are they behind a hill? Are they behind a tree? Are they behind a bush? You can't see them because they're not true. They're, they're shipped to shape shifting. They can't just get on the path and go, here I am. Wow, you're dirty. How'd you get so dirty? Well, I was out there in the weeds. I, I fell in the bog. I, I fucking fell in the fire. That's what that one scripture is about where the guy goes, my son, he fucking, he, something's wrong with him. He falls in the fire. He falls in the bog. He, he, he falls on his, on a, Hits his head on rocks. Lord, help him. He's talking about these idiots out here going, Yeah. Uh-huh. Sure. Read the Bible. They're contrary to one another so that you cannot do the things that you would. But if you be led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these. Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulation, strife, wrath, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revilings, and the such like of which I tell you before, as I have also told you in times past. What's he mean by times past? You've heard this over and over again. You've been here more than once. It's not new to you. They which do these things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Where do all these where do all these things of the flesh come from? From not walking in love. From not walking in the spirit. Get in the spirit, and all these things turn onto the other side. Witchcraft, the nonsense you talk, turns into loving edification. Hatred turns into compassion. Variant turns into com com compromise or contrition. You're 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 in now. You're not out. You're not you're not variant. You're solid. Wrath, the hatred you have turns to compassion, love. All that. Heresies, lies turn to truths. Adultery Adultery is believing in Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. People think that adultery, that he's talking about loving other gods. The flesh, all this stuff that he's talking about, 
he's talking about when you're thinking fleshy, these are the things that happen to you. The fruit of the Spirit. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness. Meekness. Me. Me, myself. It's hard to understand my meekness because I have a strong warlike spirit. I'm I'm hard because I've been fighting this bullshit for so long. I'm not I have a hard time being meek. I'm sorry. I confess. I'm fucking rowdy. I have a rowdy hard spirit. Against such things there is no law. And they that are Christ's have crucified the flesh with the affections and lusts. Pick up your cross, Tony Williams, you fucking knucklehead. You crucify, you're already dead to this world. You're already dead. You can't get any deader. I'm as dead as they get to this place. I can't repent. I've already done it. I've already changed my mind. I hate this fucking place. I'm loving it just enough to get through it. It's not my home. I'm going to walk through the shadow of the valley. The valley of the shadow of death. I'm going to walk through it. Yo. But if any man thinks he's something, he is nothing. What's that? Matthias, you think you're King David? You think you're the big man? You know what he said yesterday? When Jesus comes down, he has to have a mediator here. He needs to have a mediator, a human on earth to do the, do the work. And he's that guy. That's what this fucking nigga says. Matthias, Jesus don't need you, nigga. You fucking lop. But if a man thinks he's something, then he is nothing. He deceives himself. Who am I? I'm the fourth son of King David, but that's not a good thing. I'm one of the most wicked fuckers in the Bible. Should I should I be calm and, and polite and easy? I should be, being that I have a lot to make up for. But I'm fighting against these wicked people, man. I'm trying to explain to them, I know wickedness. I am wickedness. I don't think I'm anything. I'm a great Bible teacher because I know the Bible. I know the truth. I know the truth because I fucking lived it. But let every man prove his own work. And then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another. You don't need to rejoice in me. You need to find out who you are. I know who I am. That's why I told Matt. Dude, you can call me whatever you want. Meth head, alcoholic, womanizer, adulterer. I don't care. Murderer. Asshole, punk, prick, dick. Okay, yeah. I confess. I've been all those things and more. Not none of your business, bro. Your business is with the, Jesus Christ. You need to become friends with him. He's the only one that need that you need to be friends with. You don't need to be my friend. That's why I don't go on the comment boards. We're not friends. I'm your fucking teacher.
Let every man bear his own burden. Matthias, you're not doing anything for anyone. You're a bully, bro. A big, fat bully. They can't put the fork down. No discipline. Let him that is taught in the word communicate unto him that teacheth in all good things. What did I just say? Let him that is taught in the word communicate unto him that teacheth in all good things. What am I communicating? What am I telling you? I'm speaking the truth. What are good things? Truth. The truth will set you free. Come out of the prison. Come out of the cell. Come here. The door's open. Can you... The door's open. yoo -hoo. Come on. Come on out. These fuckers are trying to scare you. You better stay in there. You better stay in there. You're locked in. You can't go out. And you see for yourself the door's open. No. You're locked in. The door's wide open. There is no door. You're sitting in the cell. There's no. There's not even a door on it. And you think you can't get out. Come out. Let him that is taught in the word of truth share with. I'm sharing the truth, people. 265 subscribers. That's it. Be not deceived. God is not mocked for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he reap. You think, you think these guys are going to be doing really well? That talk all this nonsense, you think? He that soweth to the flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap everlasting life. And let us not be weary in doing well, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Am I ready to faint? Getting pretty weary out here. Faint not is do not lose heart. Don't be like these wicked fuckers out here. They're, they're waxing worse and worse and worse. They're, they're, the more I push the spirit on them, the more they push the flesh back at me. You know what that's doing for them? I have confidence in you through the Lord that you will be none otherwise minded, but he that troubles you shall bear his judgment, whoever he be. I feel bad because I don't have any mercy. I feel bad because I don't know mercy. He's taught me to push, push, push until I can't push anymore. Push these fuckers into the fucking worst place they'll ever want to be. I have no mercy. As much as I love you, that's how much I fucking despise them. If you listen to me, you're going to be fine. If you believe what I'm telling you, you're going to be fine. Not only are you going to be fine, you're going to be good. You're going to be great. You're going to be blessed. These guys don't want to listen. And they want to fight against me and mock me and buck up. Good luck with all that. Let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. Just like I just said. I'm in the house. I'm up in the club. I'm going to go. We're going to we're going to come back crucified to the world later tomorrow. And we'll show I'll show you again what it means to be dead in the Lord 
and the, what it really means to pick up your cross. I love you guys. Serious. For real, for real. I'm not no fucking joker out here. Playing games with people's fucking minds. I'm trying to get you on firm ground. Come out of the come out of the cell. Come on out. The door's open. Don't listen to the screaming and the crying and these fucking monkeys jumping around out in the weeds, swinging from branches and running through the muck. That's going to get you all fucked up. JD Niger, Word of Truth. Peace and grace, I'm out.